There are also a number of API enhancements that we've added in version 41 to support extensibility. Uh, I won't spend too much time on these because it's not as visually appealing as some of the other features that you've seen today. Uh, but one of those is to be able to perform partial updates and rolling updates to keys within the data store. So the data store is a way that extensions can save or persist data, uh, and it's a very flexible system that lets them uh, have, have basically persistence of um, configuration or of uh, their own mechanism for saving and re reloading different types of visualizations, many different things. But for a long time, it's been difficult to update that uh, as that, that database, that mini database within the data store grows. It's been difficult to update that, um, uh, those keys or the, that data without downloading all of it to the local browser and then made, making some edits and updating the entire version again. That can be challenging when you have multiple users running at the same time. It can be challenging for the bandwidth that's used in the network. And so this extension has allowed us to, uh, or allows users of the data store to be able to make partial updates uh, to the, the data that they're storing there in the data store. And rolling appends is very uh, interesting as well. So you can add something to a list and make sure that that list has a maximum size. So you can say, I want to add a new item to this list, but I want to, if there are more than three items after this is added, I want to get rid of the oldest ones. So you can do a rolling append to a list, which is a very powerful feature as well. The second feature here, which if you've run into it, you know that this is a big challenge. If you've never run into this, you probably don't, uh, will never need to use it. But it is uh, something that was actually very highly requested in the, um, uh, when we asked for ideas from the community for the roadmap. Uh, and we're excited to be able to introduce this already in version 41, even though it was just uh, requested a few months ago. And this is to be able to shorten qu uh, queries that might be very, very long, too long for the browser, too long for the network switches between the browser and the server. Uh, that can cause problems that are very hard to work around for users and can be frustrating. So now you can uh, basically shorten those queries using a first class feature of DHS2 called query aliases. Uh, and then you can um, access that data using a much, basically a, a shortened URL, a shortened link. And then the final one, which is coming in version 41.1, uh, is the ability to extend uh, API routes to support other HTTP verbs like post and delete, uh, which are very useful when you're talking to an external service. And for those of you who don't remember, the, the routes API is a powerful functionality to basically use DHIS2 as a proxy to other backend services. And so DHIS2 provides the authentication and the authorization for certain users to be able to use that service and hides the credentials for that service on the back end. So you don't need to expose those to the, the browser, which is a very important security feature for different types of extensions. 